Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And we're TNT RVing. So what are we doing today, Tina? We are fixing a blind. That's right. What happened <laughs> is our emergency exit window, the blackout shade, does not stay down. Yeah, this happened to us earlier this year, and I ended up having to replace the entire blind. And that was over our theater seating, well, the big window. Yes, so this time, I was able to track down the company that actually made the window blind, and they were kind enough to send us the spring assembly. So I'm going to share with you how we take it apart, fix it, and reassemble it. So stay tuned. All right, so the first step is going to be we're going to remove the window blind, or the roller blind, and I'm using a little piece of wood and I'll share with you how this is attached once I remove it. But in our situation here, there are two clips and it's really gonna be tough to see. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this piece of wood here. We're gonna push this clip because it's really tough to get with your hand. I don't know if I can get that. I'm gonna share with them once we get this. Let's see here. There we go. And that's how easy that comes off. Yeah, that didn't look easy. <laughs> no, it was. So we're gonna set this for right now over here, but I wanna bring the camera in a little closer and show them these clips. So right here is the clip that retains the window blind. And when you put it in, you actually put the bottom in first and then it snaps into the top part. And what I was using that piece of wood for was pushing on this part up top. And it's really hard to push on it with your with your hand or, or with your finger. So that's why I use a piece of wood. All right, so our window blind is removed. And also wanted to point out that when we're traveling, we always have the window blinds in the up position. So anyway, back to this. What you're gonna do is you wanna find the end that has the black knob with the screw as opposed to this one that has the clear knurled knob. The black end has the spring assembly attached to it. So I'm gonna remove this screw here and we will pop this out. And also I had already turned the spring tension uh, knob, I unwound it to lessen the amount of uh, preload of the spring on this assembly. So then what we're going to do is pop that off and what's going to happen, oh, there's still a little bit of spring as you can see. No big deal. I'm going to pop that out. And then I'm going to be careful. We're going to pull this out. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That one's a wait little... A <laughs> what? So, interesting. That one's a little bit longer, which means this is like meant for, I would think, a bigger uh, blind. You that's know, something right. that's heavier. I'm going to take and measure this. That's not right. Well, my guess is... That looks like it goes for our little window. <sighs> yeah. But really, we have a small, medium, and a large in here, uh, window blind. Let's see, the one that came out is 24 inches. The one that they sent to us is almost 15 inches, 14 you, and three quarter. You gave them the dimensions, didn't you? Yeah, so what they asked for is the diameter of the tube, which ours is three quarter inch. And then they wanted the length, which I gave them the length. Oops, the length which is 32 inches so they sent us this spring <laughs> my guess is you know it doesn't weigh a lot um i'm gonna install it and then maybe i'll give them a call monday and ask them now that we have the dimensions and everything and see what they say if this is okay to use in there if they're gonna send me another one what's the name of the company oh yes so the name of the company is the irvine uh, Shade and Door Company, and they're located in Elkhart, Indiana. Oh, and they I imagine were, that. Yep. They're located in Elkhart, Indiana. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's really cool, I mean, they were great to work with and everything. So I don't I don't foresee this uh, being an issue, but I say let's put this in there and see how it operates. Okay, what do you think? 
So one thing too, let's let's show them what that looks like. See how this is sort of geared, it's not really geared, but you can put these just like so. Then you put this other end in there like that. And then this goes in there like that. Okay. Simple. And then if you look in there, there's what looks like a little Allen mm -hmm. head and same there. Those made in there together. Here, we're gonna put that on there. And then slide that in, just like that. And that should be in there, that's good. All right, so then we'll put our screw back in. No big deal. Flip our screwdriver over, let's see here. Just like that. So now this doesn't have any spring load to it, so it's not gonna come back up. So what we would do is we're gonna turn this a bunch of times. You just hand turn that, right? And we're gonna turn it by hand. Let's see, kind of a funky position there. Turn that a bunch of times, wind up that spring, and hopefully it'll be enough to bring that blind up. And I don't think there's gonna be a problem because it's pretty, uh, still, oh yeah, I could tell. All right, so let's do a little test. So, oh, look at that, it works. Oh. And then we'll, all right, so it's a little slow. So we wanna speed that up. Yeah. What we're gonna do, let's crank it up some more. Okay. So we're gonna turn that some more. I'm surprised that works with that smaller mechanism. Yeah, that, but that's still a pretty, hardy spring that's there okay. all right so they're working look at yeah, that nice. what's wrong with that nothing exactly Looks like work it's that's <laughs> gonna work not a problem so real quick once again this is the side the side with the black uh knurled little gear part here adjust the speed at which the window blind comes up the clear knurled knob here will adjust when the window blind stops. For example, if I want to bring this down a little bit lower, what we'll do is we'll turn this like so. Now when we do it and bring it back up, it'll stop there. Awesome. So let's get, we're going to put this back in now. Okay. All right, so we're ready to put the blind back in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this edge on the clips, the two clips that I showed you earlier first. So that's towards the bottom. So we're gonna turn this just like that, essentially, and set them on the bottom. And I'm just gonna do this by feel because it's really hard to see what's going on. So I have it resting right now on there. And then Tina, if you back away a little bit so okay. you can see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the, the blind itself is centered. So to over exaggerate, I wouldn't want to snap it back into place this way because it's not centered. Oh, gotcha. So we're going to center that. We've got it on the bottom. And then all we're going to do is we're going to push in and then it's going to click like that, make that noise. It's secured now. Let's pull it down, see if it works. Look at that. Yay. Beautiful job. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to TNT RVing. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Give us a big thumbs up, a like. We'll see you at the campground.